Hello YouTube, I hope everybody is doing great. Today I want to show you an actuator, linear actuator, that you can build, print, build yourself. But before that, uh, this video is sponsored by PCBWay.com. This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com. Get your high quality PCBs from one place with instant online quotes. Select the features from various options, choose between advanced and standard PCBs, including flex PCB, assembly and stencils. But there is more. They also have online injection molding service, CNC machining with many materials to choose from, online sheet metal fabrication, including laser cutting and bending, and of course 3D printing service with different plastics, even metal. PCBWay is the one company that you'll need. So now I will first show you, show it to you in action and then I will take it apart and show you the individual parts. This design is not by me. I found it on Thingiverse and uh, I like the design and I wanted to print it and see what it can do or not can do. So let me adjust my camera real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just plugged in my plugged it into my outlet that I have underneath my table and uh, it is running on 5 volts right now <clears throat> and I did attach this uh, double throw two pole double throw switch with a middle point so it won't move all the time so here it moves out and then it moves back in <clears throat> sorry about that so depending on the motor you use these come in different voltages and in different rpm ratings you will have more speed less torque or more torque less speed so this is i think a six volt motor running on five volts and uh, i really don't remember um, what rpm rating it had i wish they would write it on the motor itself um, because I ordered this a couple years ago and uh, I cannot remember so anyway show it to you again of course you can stop midpoint I mean that's a given I guess okay now let me unplug it here those plugs are pretty tight there <clears throat> and let me open it up for you it does have quite a few screws these are uh, m3 three millimeter screws Maybe I should use something faster. This will take forever. Or I pause the video. Okay, I actually used a power drill to do it. <clears throat> you take the lid off you see the internals you see the piston and let me it's all fit in there perfectly so here you have these motors these are n20 motors as i said they come with different voltages and rpms this is one piece you print on here it gets pushed onto the shaft and also I had motors with 10 millimeter shaft, but this design uh, wants them with a five millimeter shaft. So I had to shorten that out. And then <coughs> you also need 
a three millimeter thread threaded rod because you won't find a screw that long and well if i take this all out uh, there's a nut in here that is also press fit and then you use uh, the, how you call those nuts well they have a ring up there so they won't turn they get stuck there and then you have this bearing which i had at hand thankfully that fit in there and then you have this other nut and you squeeze this together so when this turns it actually pushes this in and out and uh, this is all there's to it so it's technically four parts this is the bottom part and i use pla to print this i don't like that shiny stuff actually i don't like this pla much so i'm using it for stuff and uh, this is the lid i had to file down a little bit on here to make the motor fit and then you have this part and putting it together more simple put the lid back on there and then screw it together i won't do this now but anyway and also this has a travel of 98 millimeters uh, depending on the setting here you might get a full 100 millimeter out there but um, i'm not using this for a particular project yet so if it's 98 millimeters or 100 millimeters uh, roughly four inch uh, that is fine with me and it has of course those holes here so you can mount it and then push and pull whatever you need to and depending as i said on the motor you will have it faster with less torque or slower with more torque and this is it so i will link the <clears throat> design in the description i also have other thingiverse um, projects on designs of my own and this that link is also in the description and uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask i will gladly answer them and this is it thanks for watching and take care everybody